Hello there, my name is Tom Sprawlo and welcome to my YouTube channel where we talk all things trading, finances and money in general. Now, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, a lot to learn here and also a lot of amazing Bitcoin updates and live trading is happening here so that you can actually learn a lot unlike other YouTube channels. So now in this video, I want to bring you a full step-by-step -step tutorial of how to trade crypto, Bitcoin, Ethereum and just in general crypto on Bybit and how to use their amazing platform and to be honest just jumping a little bit ahead here this video is not sponsored uh, this is just a review and a tutorial of my favorite uh, of my favorite exchange of my favorite platform because a little bit about myself I've been into trading for more than eight years now I started with futures then also stocks and long-term portfolio building and also in the recent years I've been getting into crypto and I've tried many different platforms I've tried I've been trading on Binance I tried BitMEX and the Femex and a bunch of other stuff and by a bit as well and by far in my personal honest and humble opinion by a bit is the best out of the bunch and there are certainly uh, some drawbacks uh, that for example professional futures trading on index on indices uh, professional software for futures trading on indices might have that Bybit doesn't have but that can be easily solved by using trading view with all advanced uh, trading charting techniques and indicators etc so uh, for everyday use for a professional like myself Bybit is by far the most convenient one the most smooth one and also probably the safest one as well because if you're going to be keeping Bitcoin here uh, they are actually storing it in a cold storage so it adds on to the security and the security protocols that they have introduced are really top-notch so in my personal opinion when it comes to safety Bybit is really good but that's not the reason why I like Bybit so much the main reason is because of liquidity and if you compare liquidity uh, to for example Femax or Bitmax or really pretty much any other exchange you'll see that uh, Bybit has the best liquidity I know if you're new to trading then it might be sound a little bit complicated so let me put it in simple words liquidity is basically your spread I know that doesn't sound easier does it so basically spread oftentimes in very simple layman terms when you open a trade you for example you open it somewhere here but your trade actually opens down here so you have to cover this whole area to actually even be in profit that means there is a huge spread there is low liquidity so it's all over the place with buy bid there is so much liquidity that your trades are always instantaneous and right on the spot with a super small spread so your losses on the spread on this kind of uh, you know empty area is minimized down to complete almost complete zero so that is, this is a huge thumbs up to buy bid because I mean if you're trading very actively then this matters and if you have many trades per month you know some traders can have up to 20 trades per day when they're doing a lot of scalp trading or day trading and having ridiculous spreads can can add on really fast and you can start losing money just because of the damn spread when in reality thanks to your strategy you've actually made money but you lost it because of spread and this is something that is not going to happen with buy bid and certainly it goes without saying that the actual rates and the fees are extremely competitive so it is really you could say cheap to trade on Bybit. All right, so now we've got this intro out of the way. Let's just jump right into the charts and into the platform itself. And um, I'll show you exactly all you need. So this is gonna be the only tutorial you'll ever need uh, if you want to use Bybit and trade Bitcoin or crypto in general and do it properly and safely. So, all right, let's just jump right into it. And let's start by looking at the procedure of how to open an account with Bybit. Now, when the first and the most important step of opening a Bybit account is going into the description of this video, clicking show more and clicking and using my personal and exclusive Bybit link right here. And this link is going to give you a bonus of up to $4,100 after your initial deposit. So use this link right now and as you go through this tutorial you can actually complete these steps as we go so for step number one using my link down in the description or actually in the pinned comment right here also here is a link to the four thousand one hundred dollar bonus and uh, click on it uh, the buy bit 
registration is going to open up and it literally and that's also an amazing benefit of Bybit it really literally takes less than one minute some say it's like 20 seconds to open a Bybit account so no KYC no rubbish so put in your email your password click continue and you'll be all set up with your account and once you've created your account and logged into it this is pretty much what you're going to see and this is going to be your assets so it's going to be under spot account and derivatives account and these are the two separate accounts that we're going to be talking about so this is the main area where you can see your uh, portfolio so right now i have about eighty thousand dollars that i've put into it to uh, show you exactly how it all works in the Bybit platform itself and remember if you are from the United States or some country which uh, doesn't allow Bybit or any of these uh, platforms then please uh, use VPN and actually down in the description of this video you will also find a NordVPN minus 73% off link also my link and use the code Crawlo and you will get 73% off on NordVPN which is going to help you access Bybit from anywhere in the world and now having used my personalized link down in the description of the video or in the pinned comment you are ready to deposit money into your Bybit account and there are different ways how you can do this and uh, you can do it from the spot account which we're at right now and you can actually deposit USDT you can deposit Bitcoin Ethereum and a bunch of other stuff if you're so inclined so if you already have an account somewhere or some kind of a wallet you can always send it over to your address right here in Bybit and also you can withdraw it and uh, just using the simple feature uh, feature of withdrawal but if you don't have any crypto yet then no worries you can go to buy crypto right here click on this and there is also a, an amazing video tutorial a very detailed one on how to actually deposit money into Bybit and here you can basically deposit almost you you can use almost any fiat any regular money to deposit uh for example let's click on euro 1000 euro and you can you will uh, spend 1000 euro to receive USDT Bitcoin or Ethereum and here you can you choose really many different payment methods that will support card payments etc and then you have to click that you have agreed to the disclaimer and click continue and voila it's done and once you have completed the deposit your bonus will be credited to your account very soon well if you used my personalized Bybit link now the next topic is going to be uh, talking about the spot market and the derivatives market so as you've seen under assets there is the spot account and then there is also the derivatives account in the spot account actually the total equity meaning how much in total I have in Bybit right now I have about eighty thousand dollars but as you can see in USDT it says four dollars so nothing no Bitcoin no nothing that is for a simple reason that I am not holding any cryptocurrency in the spot account rather I'm actually holding it in the derivatives account so the spot account is used if you really want to just go out and buy Bitcoin Ethereum and actually have the coin itself and buy the coin for a long-term hold for example then you're going to be using your spot account but if you want to be trading Bitcoin or Ethereum or pretty much any other cryptocurrency then you will need your derivatives account and this is very simple to use and in derivatives account you will see that I have uh, Bitcoin about $21,000 in Bitcoin so half a Bitcoin and also and I'll show you exactly why do I need Bitcoin for trading Bitcoin there are two different ways how to trade Bitcoin and uh, also the total equity of $58,000 in USDT and it shows up under my derivatives account because I use this for derivative trading rather than just buying Bitcoin and holding it so I'm going to show you how to use futures as well as the perpetual contracts and the inverse perpetual and uh, uh, inverse futures contracts so now it is time to take a look at what else is there and uh, we've seen this buy crypto button then we have the spot and this is basically this will take you to the trading uh, platform itself where you can purchase any given cryptocurrency for your spot 
account. Now then there is also the derivatives trading uh, platform itself. So for uh, USD, this is what uh, traders use, the day traders and swing traders and scalp traders, etc. They're going to be using derivatives as just mentioned. Then there is uh, BiFi Sender and also a bunch of interesting stuff that I'm going to cover also shortly. And uh, then your orders and trades right here. You can take a look. It's like a shortcut. But let's move to right to derivatives. And let's go to BTC USDT. And this, let me just briefly talk about the layout of the whole platform and cover all the things that are here. So in this window is basically where all of the fun stuff is going to be happening. And by the way, if you're enjoying this video, please hit that like button. Let's crack 2000 likes on this one. And thank you in advance. Thank you for all your support. This helps the channel grow and also helps to get videos out there into the algorithm. So many people get educated. So thank you very much for your support and for hitting that like button. So let's take a look at what we have here. So basically the layout is extremely simple in my personal opinion. Number one, obviously here you're going to have uh, the line of information of what you're actually trading. So Bitcoin, USDT, USDT Perpetual, we're going to talk about the contract uh, types shortly, then the current price, the change within the last 24 hours, uh, the 24 hour high, so the highest peak at which Bitcoin has been in the last 24 hours, and then also the low, so the lowest point in the last 24 hours, uh, the 24 hour uh, turnover in USDT, so in dollars, and then the funding rate. The funding rate is one of those confusing things that you probably don't really need to know about these, but nonetheless, uh, funding rate is, it's like a countdown, which happens, I believe, three, four times a day, and uh, it's uh, a funding fee is exchanged directly between buyers and sellers every eight hours when the funding rate is positive, long position holders uh, pay to short position holders. And when the funding rate is negative, short position holders pay to long position holders. Uh, see, the reason for this uh, complicated thing to be here is because this is not the spot market. So we're not trading directly uh, Bitcoin or Ethereum, the coin itself. In futures and the perpetual contracts, we are trading the actual contract. So it's like almost, you know, if you're from the world of futures, then you know what the CFD is. It's a contract for difference. So something similar to that. So and basically that's why there can be some kind of a price discrepancy and to cover cover for that price discrepancy. It's actually taken either from those who are longing the market or from the ones who are the, uh, uh, shorting the market. So it's not a fee that uh, the buy bid is getting. It's actually long traders are paying uh, uh, short traders and vice versa. So that's as much as you probably need to know about this. Now, then we have the main chart, which in my opinion is very customizable and very comfortable. Certainly it's got its own drawback so it's not as good as you know the trading view the whole now uh, thing itself so and by the way there's also a link to trading view chart um, down in the description and I do prefer uh, trading view when it comes to complex indicators and that kind of stuff so if you're into that then use my link down in the description and subscribe to trading view and let me know down in the comments if I should do a tutorial on trading view as well now so in this main chart it's all very very simple so you can switch between uh, the time frames you can also uh, select whether you want it to be linear or if you want the candlesticks and then you can also select different uh, ways how you would like to view the data and also these bars are actually quite popular among uh, old school traders but I cannot read this stuff it's just painful for my eyes and also the hollow candles so I always prepare the simple uh, filled candles and also here are the indicators so the whole list of stuff that you might be interested in average true range everything is in there and everything is fully customizable and which is quite nice again it's not as technical as trading view but nonetheless it is still very very good uh, also we have this uh, button box as I call it when if you really need to buy or sell really fast and if you're too slow or uh, too lazy to reach out to your big uh, um, order placement uh, area of the chart here of the platform and actually place the order then you can actually uh, use these shortcuts here now uh, then also we have a bunch of tools here on the left side uh, this is mainly um, just a uh, uh, navigation uh, cursor and which you can have different styles and uh, basically it just moves around the chart and then you can actually delete the lines and that kind of stuff then also we have the lines trend lines and info lines and all of that great stuff if you want to be you know uh, drawing some 
support and resistances and uh, flags, wedges and all that good stuff. So you're going to be able to find that here as well. And you can adjust the color, the thickness, uh, other parameters and also lock it in, copy and delete. And then also there are many other features and functions like the brush if you want to illustrate something and draw some, some lines and uh, yeah that's also possible obviously then also the text and uh, yeah so there, there are really many things I'm not gonna go through all of these things it's all just something that you can play around with and see for yourself what it all does for the most part I need just the cursor uh, the brush for the videos for the most part the text for a note to myself of so that if I'm trading many pairs so I don't forget what's going on and also the lines the lines are the most important ones now, uh, the next part is going to be the order book itself. So you can see exactly, you know, uh, what kind of a quantity there is at certain price levels. This can be very useful for scalp traders and day traders for the initial impulse uh, calculation. And by the way, if you're looking for a certified trading education that you can trust, you can go for mine at tomscrawler.com or actually go into the description of the video and you will find a 20% discount on my certified trading education this link right here and yes it's one of the best uh, trading pieces of trading education on the market right now it's a five months long trading education which will save you years of time as well as thousands of dollars that you could potentially lose uh, if you will be doing it all on your own all right back to the topic the next important part is uh, the recent trades which is this uh, window right here and basically this is a tape it's also called tape and this is uh, all the orders that are getting filled and sometimes you know when there is a strong key market level you will see a very big orders coming in in the tape so it's called tape reading this is something that you, that you can use to your advantage as well now the next uh, long box down on the bottom is going to be where all of your orders are gonna be uh, position so this is going to be your active orders which we don't have any right now then you will have your profit and loss right here then you will also have your active orders and you will have your conditional orders right here as well and uh, filled one and the uh, order history and if we go back to the close profit and loss we'll see some of my recent trades and this is what proper risk and money management looks like when you lose just a little bit and then when you see the right potential for a good trade then you bank on it so this is proper risk and money management now so basically making like uh, four thousand dollars in just two days or so now uh, let's move on to uh, the next box which is going to be probably one of the most important ones and that is going to be your order placement box and in this uh, order placement box uh, there are quite a few things so probably people are always asking me about this uh, particular part because they find it the most complicated one and even sometimes I get lost in it to be honest so let's start with the top part right here so we have number one it says cross so what is cross let's click on it so here you'll be given two uh, different um, options isolated or cross so basically this is the margin mode the margin is what's required the amount of money required to be in your account to cover for a certain trade for a certain entry for a certain position so when it says cross margin it means that uh, let's let's start it's gonna make more sense let's start with isolated margin so when you uh, select a trade you open a trade there's going to be a certain margin requirement so for a certain trade uh, I don't know a few bitcoins for example you will need fifty thousand dollars in your account but you for example have two hundred thousand dollars in your account in in that particular instance uh, when it's isolated and the market goes against you the trade will automatically close when your position is liquidated so basically at 50 percent uh now at fifty thousand dollar initial margin requirement i know it sounds complicated but we're gonna go through it and it's gonna become a lot simpler so basically it's not gonna let you have a bigger drawdown than the initial margin that you've put up for a particular trade so it's not gonna dig into the rest of your account and into the rest of your money now when it uh, when you toggle cross margin this is uh, something that you know is a bit more dangerous because this allows any given trade to actually go into your if it goes past fifty thousand dollars on that given trade that we've used as an example uh, for isolated margin then it actually is going to go into your account and go will go past 
$50,000 and will not close at $50,000 loss. So it's more rec it's recommended to use isolated margin so usually uh, I'm using either one I'm controlling my trade so I don't really care but if you're one of those people who doesn't use stop losses and we're gonna talk about stop losses then certainly uh, you should be using isolated margin then the next part here is going to be your leverage so basically leverage is uh, the multiplier of uh, your trade so to speak so when you're using just leverage one that means that if you're buying one bitcoin then basically uh, you're going to be it's similar to the spot market so you're going to be going into the market with just one bitcoin with a margin uh, as you know standard but if you're going to be using leverage of 10x then obviously you're going to be going into the market with a lot more money so this is going to give you the opportunity to trade with a lot bigger positions and certainly it adds on to the risk so if you're going into the market with 10 bitcoins or one bitcoin and uh, it's a big difference so if you've gone into the market with 10 bitcoin instead of one and the market moves 10 percent against you this could wipe out your whole position just because of your high leverage but uh, the recommended size of leverage depending on your style some people are just doing something unbelievable and their risk and money management is just out the door you know it takes three trades for them to lose their whole account i would never recommend doing something like that your each of your trades should be you shouldn't risk more than one to two percent per trade uh, on any given trade of your uh, total account so that's why you know using 100x uh, it's it's very dangerous usually what i'm using is 3x up to maybe 10x depending on the market conditions and certainly you can set out different um, leverage for both your long trades as well as short trades and then once you've selected everything you can click confirm and then on top here there is also this calculator tool which is actually really cool uh, that bybit actually added this calculator so this actually helps you to calculate your initial margin requirement for any given trade depending on your leverage so let's let's do a calculation so for example if we are doing 1x and uh, let's say we want to buy one so leverage is one we want to buy one bitcoin and the entry price of 43 thousand dollars and then the close price is going to be let's say forty six thousand dollars so the initial margin requirement which is required to have in your account uh, would be forty three thousand dollars to buy one bitcoin because it's the price of one bitcoin uh, and that's so and that's the beauty of um, uh, leverage trading and i'll show you exactly what it is if we move it to 10x so everything stays the same but your initial margin requirement drops to $4,300 instead of um, $43,000 so what it means is that if for example you have $43,000 in your account with leverage 1x you'll be able to have just one trade with one bitcoin and that's it because the margin requirement is $43,000 but if you're using 10x then you can actually go into the market uh, with uh, the initial margin of 43 of only $4,300 which means that you can add uh, 10 more nine more Bitcoin to your trade and then your profit the initial margin is gonna stay the same but you're trading 10 Bitcoin instead of one Bitcoin so your potential profit would go to $30,000 instead of $3,000 so that's basically how margin works and uh, how leverage works and uh, I mean it's just lovely to play around with this and you can certainly do it for the long for the short you can also calculate the target price the liquidation price at which so if for example you're using 10x leverage and you're taking uh, I don't know one bitcoin at the price of 43,000 then uh, your liquidation price will be $38,000 uh, $39,000 and that means that if the price reaches 40, uh, $39,000 uh, all of your initial uh, margin will be wiped out and your trade will be closed as long as you're using um, the isolated margin type which I've showed you before so the next part is uh, these two buttons right here so you can either open a trade or close a trade uh, right in the box which I never do I usually just close the trade right in the positions uh, below right here which I'm going to show you shortly so uh, below this you'll find a selection of different orders so basically there is a limit order market order and a conditional order and uh, there are big differences between 
these orders. But I'm going to explain it in the simplest terms possible, the main difference and why you should be using one or another. Now, uh, with the limit order is when you you actually have to put in the order price at which you would like to have your trade executed. So for example, $42,700, you want to buy one Bitcoin, uh, or you can actually use uh, this interesting tool right here. Um, so you want to buy one Bitcoin, then you want to select uh, whether you want to buy along with uh, take profit on stop loss uh, immediately. So you can actually set out your take profit on stop loss. So if you want to buy along at that area, so for example, we could set out our take profit at $43,000 uh, and our stop loss at uh, 42,500 as a rough example. And it also uh, calculates what kind of uh, the profit or loss it would be if this would have um, taken place. And then you either uh, place an order uh, or you can actually place the long uh, trade or uh, the short trade. And obviously, if you've uh, selected buy long with a stop loss, then you should be clicking open long. <laughs> and then, um, okay, let, let's go through this and let me show you how it works. So for the purposes of this tutorial, uh, let me show you exactly how it works. So let's say the price is moving down and we want to place our limit order uh, to actually buy at, for example, 42,400. If the price comes down to 42,400, we want the long trade to open. So we put in the order price 42,400. We put in, uh, let's say, I don't know, 0 0.01 Bitcoin, um, uh, the size of the trade. Um, our margin, our leverage is at 10x. We click uh, buy along with take profit and stop loss. And I always recommend using uh, proper risk and money management so that you stay safe and you know what you're doing. So let's set out the stop loss. Let's say we want it to close automatically at 42,300 if it goes against us. And uh, if it goes in our favor, we want to um, take a profit at $43,000. Then we uh, make sure that the post only is actually uh, clicked. We click open long and our limit order is gonna be set out right here. And actually it's a very cool feature of Bybit. You can actually use this cursor right here and you can adjust it manually just like this in case if something changes. And you'll see that in um, uh, the positions, uh, nothing is here, uh, nothing, and only you will see your pending order in active. You'll see one right here, and you can adjust your take profit and stop loss right here. And also, uh, you can adjust your order price manually, and you'll see all the data. Uh, and once the price reaches, it will open your long trade with your take profit and stop loss. Now, and to uh, cancel this order, if that's what you want to do, then just simply click cancel, and that's it. And the same thing goes for shorting. So you can click sell short with take profit or stop loss or without it and simply uh, use these two buttons right here. And also uh, down here, you will see uh, exchange. So you can actually very cool feature. You can exchange uh, cryptocurrencies directly. You can buy, you can deposit uh, directly and then also some data on the market. And uh, Let's move on to the market order. So the market order, and it's, and oh, actually I do recommend using limit orders just because uh, you actually can get paid and there are people who are trying to make money on limit orders, especially on big ones. And that is that you get a rebate when you are using the limit order rather than the market order. And the reason is very simple. Bybit is giving uh, incentive for using the limit order. And uh, when you're using a limit order, you actually are providing liquidity into the order book. When you're using the market order, you're actually pulling liquidity right out of the order book, so to speak. So that's why you'll have to pay the commission. But when you're using a limit order, you actually get the rebate, so you get money back. But of course, the, uh, the cost of this is that if you really want to do something really quickly, you're usually forced to use the market order. Otherwise, if you're going to be, you know, putting in all the numbers and calculating where is it and when the price is moving so fast, you some mostly are going to be using the market order. But when you're preparing for your trade, you know exactly where you want to enter and what's the structure and etc. Then you're going to be when you have time, you'll use the limit order and actually get a rebate on it. And um, that's very cool because with the market, again, you're pulling liquidity out of the order book and basically you're, that's when you're paying the commission in comparison to the limit order. So in other words, with the limit order, you will not always get the trade and not always will get the price. So you're not guaranteed a trade 
when with the market order you will get in just based on the spread and you'll get just the price that is mentioned in the order book instantaneously so that's why uh, there is this big difference so again uh, with the market order everything everything is extremely simple you put in the quantity uh, you add the stop loss and the take profit so for example if you want to short the market right now as an example our take profit can be uh, 43 200 uh, I'm sorry 42 300 and our stop loss can be uh, as an example uh, 42 800 and uh, that's it there is nothing else what we need to do and we just click open short and that's it we've opened our short trade here is going to be our stop loss right here so if the price reaches it uh, the trade is going to be closed into uh, a loss and then here is our take profit so if the price comes to it uh, it's going to uh, give us uh, close the trade into profit automatically and now in the positions we're gonna see um, our trade right here so we're gonna see uh, what we've traded the quantity and the value of this trade the overall value of it the entry price and uh, the current mark price and there is also the liquidation price so this is the price uh, at which we our position is going to be liquidated but since I'm using uh, cross uh, margin and I have about eighty thousand dollars in uh, in this case here I have fifty eight thousand dollars so I have more than enough money to sustain me a few lifetimes so that's why it says ninety nine hundred and ninety nine thousand and then it's gonna be also showing us um, the unrealized uh, profit and loss and this can uh, uh, on this particular trade right now and our overall daily realized profit and loss and here you can also adjust the take profit and the stop loss so uh, again very simple you've seen this already and a lot of people have been asking me about the trailing stop so the trailing stop is a very cool feature so trailing stop you can add a price retracement so let's say two hundred dollars uh, and the way how it's going to be working is very very simple so uh, let's move make this bigger um, and let me show you exactly how it works so basically as the price uh, well in this case uh, as the price is moving down in this structure so every time it goes and uh, gets to a new peak uh, the stop loss is going to move together with it so at this peak uh, if the price goes back $200 as an example then um, the trade will be closed automatically so as it goes uh, lower again uh, now uh, it's gonna start calculating 200 from the bottom up and uh, again the same thing so whenever it finally goes up by $200 then this is where it's gonna close automatically so I hope that it made sense um, my explanation so and the same thing goes for uh, the upward direction so as the uh, price moves up and uh, retraces it has to retrace by $200 for your trade to be closed so it follows over always behind by $200 so whenever it goes against you two hundred dollars that's where it's going to close the trade automatically so this is how the trailing stop actually works so now the last part here is actually the opportunity to close your trade and uh, right now we have minus one dollar right here <laughs> so uh, close um, the trade you can either close by the limit order uh, which you have to set out or usually you're going to be closing it with a market order click confirm the size of it and uh, how big of uh, if you want to close the whole trade or not and that's it and you've closed your trade now the last type of the order is the conditional order and this is the order that uh, is uh, quite useful when you're trading breakouts and we are really unsure of uh, w which direction the market is gonna break in and this is a very cool feature so for that purpose let's draw uh, a flag formation right here uh, using uh, these uh, levels just like that approximately and um, so in this instance if you're treating this breakout let's move, let me move this out of the way uh, you're unsure if it's gonna break upwards or downwards because either of the scenarios for example is likely so you can actually set out a uh, conditional order with a trigger price of let's say uh, 42 900 
and uh, also set the qu uh, quantity and you for example want the limit order as I said I recommend limit orders and the order price 42900 and once uh, the price reaches the trigger price uh, the limit order will be triggered and your uh, position is going to be opened and you can set it out for uh, the bottom of the channel as well so if the price uh, goes up then your one of your uh, conditional orders is going to be triggered for the breakout upward and then you can set out the conditional order for short that if uh, the price actually breaks out uh, in, uh, uh, in the downward direction and it's going to give you an opportunity uh, to trade it as well so you can just lay back and relax using conditional orders but to be honest uh, usually when I'm trading I know in which direction the market is going to be breaking and I'm expecting a certain direction so I'm going to be using just a limit order and that's it okay so that's about it for the uh, setting out of your orders take profits etc now it's time for us to talk about the derivatives and now once again please don't forget that there is a link down in the description uh, which you can use to open a Bybit account and claim a bonus of four thousand one hundred dollars so use that link link when you're going to be opening your Bybit account okay so derivatives uh, there are different contracts so as I showed you here already uh, what we have been using um, is actually the USDT perpetual so we were using this one right here and on Bybit you can trade uh, a bunch of different cryptocurrencies and they've been adding these like crazy I mean even a year ago they didn't have that many and they are constantly adding different ones and there are different lists like trending and the new the ones from metaverse as well in here so it's absolutely uh, beautiful and also DeFi it's unbelievable now uh, there is also the inverse perpetual I'm gonna talk about the differences shortly and the list is uh, a lot smaller but there is a reason why and also inverse futures so I, what I've been showing you uh, in this example right here as I said those were USDT uh, perpetual so what's the main difference between USDT perpetual and inverse perpetual so basically uh, when you're using USDT perpetual you're using uh, USDT as the collateral so that's why you've seen right here uh, that I had uh, equity of 58,000 USDT so I'm using USDT to trade Bitcoin now uh, the other option what you can do uh, which I'm using actually uh, both of them and that is the uh, inverse perpetual and that is when you are using uh, Bitcoin itself as a collateral and you're basically trading Bitcoin to make Bitcoin so you're actually settled in Bitcoin so if the trade played out you're paid in Bitcoin rather than USDT so with USDT perpetual you're trading using USDT but you're trading one of the cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and if you make money you're again paid in USDT not in Bitcoin itself when in inverse perpetual you will be paid in the cryptocurrency itself and so which one should you choose and that's really the matter of personal preference and if you're really bullish on Bitcoin Bitcoin as for example you know Bitcoin is moving down uh, real hard and you're buying in so using this averaging strategy and again if you want to learn how to trade properly uh, the link down in the description um, to my uh, certified trading education and let's say you're building a portfolio of Bitcoin and uh, you're buying into Bitcoin so you're really bullish on Bitcoin and you believe that Bitcoin is gonna go to I don't know hundred thousand dollars so you really don't want to hold USDT you want it to be in Bitcoin or Ethereum or really any other token then uh, you're not forced to keep USDT in your account for actual active trading that's that's brilliant right so you can actually invest in Bitcoin and at the same time uh, trade using Bitcoin so you're holding it and as it appreciates in value you make money and as you're trading you're making money as well so it's like double profit so to speak well hopefully of course and then uh, lastly uh, and uh, all the concept is pretty much the same as with USDT perpetual so every order placement everything is absolutely the same now the only real difference that you will see in the inverse perpetual is that your entry will be not with Bitcoin amount rather 
is going to be with the dollar amount. And you can see that here, uh, my equity changed to Bitcoin because I have 0 0.5 Bitcoin if I want to trade Bitcoin. And I can always, in the transfer of assets is extremely simple. So you can always click and transfer from your spot account when again, you've made your initial deposit, for example, using my link in the description to claim up to $4,000 in bonuses. And uh, you, you will see your balance of Bitcoin uh, right here if you've deposited Bitcoin and you can move it right to derivatives account very simply and the amount, etc. And you will get Bitcoin right into your account here. So you can use Bitcoin to trade Bitcoin. When uh, let's go back to the USDT perpetual. In this case, also uh, when you click on transfer assets, you can uh, transfer from your spot account. So if you've used my link and deposited USDT, you will see in your spot account and you will have to actually transfer it to your derivatives account right here and vice versa to uh, actually be able to trade derivatives and the USDT perpetual. You select the coin that you have and uh, the amount that you would like to transfer into your derivatives account. And that's pretty much the difference between USDT perpetual and the inverse perpetual. Now, the last one, which to be honest, I don't really use that very much, and that is the actual futures contract um, uh, on the coin itself, and you're using the coin itself as the collateral, so it's uh, similar to inverse perpetual, but there are certain technical differences, which I'm gonna be really boring you with, and the only real difference that you have to keep in mind is that uh, these futures, just like the real markets out there, like the stock exchange and you know the indices, etc., like trading index, um, the trading futures on S&P 500 or NASDAQ or Dow Jones, etc., uh, those futures always have an expiration date so expiry and so it means that the future will be settled on a certain date uh, day of a certain month and usually per quarter so you have to close that trade and or it's gonna be automatically settled on a given moment so and um, you can see the selection here is not really that big when with inverse perpetual it still is very similar to the futures contract just small technical differences and the perpetual actually stands for infinite so there is no limit and no uh, expiration date or uh, as uh, on the future so i mean stick with inverse perpetual or usdt perpetual and you'll be just fine and by the way feel free to leave me a like and look it actually when you click on it it changes color Wow, amazing, try it out for yourself. And also please feel free to share this video with as many people as you can. You can uh, share it on Facebook, on WhatsApp, on uh, e through email, Twitter, whatever, a bunch of options. You can uh, copy the link and send it to your friends so uh, we can spread this information and take it to as many people as we can. And actually you can even embed, embed this uh, link and this video in your website and use this tutorial for Bybit on your website and how to trade crypto. So feel free to use it uh, for your own purposes. And there are a few more things that I want to show you and that is um, under more, you will see a very, very um, helpful help center, also a blog and the help center, if you ever have any kinds of questions, always reach out to Bybit. This is what I love about Bybit. Their customer support is impeccable. It's absolutely unbelievable. I mean, they're relatively new on the market. I don't know, since 2018. So I wouldn't able to, uh, I, I'm not able to say that they're really that new, but oh man, they are good. And uh, there is, um, possibility to chat with a bot and get your questions answered and then reach out to an agent. So if you have any questions about your bonus that you've um, uh, used, because uh, you've used my um, uh, link in the description of this video and you have questions about it, then always reach out and buy a bit. It's gonna be more than happy to help you out at any given moment. Then also there is this rewards hub which is a very useful thing. If you want to claim an extra reward, you can always go to, and there are different uh, tasks, and usually uh, there are many, many more tasks, and you can claim extra money, extra coupons, and complete different interesting tasks to get more bonuses. And also, uh, there is an incredible referral program that you can use and invite friends and make extra money. And then certainly under more, uh, there is also the affiliate program. So if you have a following on Instagram, on YouTube, on uh, any other social media platforms, you can apply to become their affiliate and make good money as the affiliate as well. And by the way, um, if you haven't registered for a chance to win a uh, few week trip 
to Dubai, uh, all expenses paid, uh, uh, plane ticket and the hotel, food and helicopters and uh, restaurants and my golden cars and incredible time here and me teaching you how to trade and you trading together with me at my trading floor, my famous Dubai trading floor, then in that case, please go to crawlotradingshow.com and register your free participation. It's absolutely free, there is no credit card required and just click register and it's actually very, very simple. Complete a few steps and uh, you will be registered and you'll get a chance to win an amazing trip to Dubai, all expenses paid by me. All right, so um, this is pretty much everything that I wanted to mention and please uh, do not forget that there is a link down in the description or in the pinned comment uh, to all the awesome products and to um, a incredible bonus, $4,100 bonus with Bybit. Um, and uh, honestly, this is an incredible platform, an incredible broker that I personally trust and right now I have only about $80,000 um, in here, but this is something I'm gonna be using for my Crawlo trading show Dot com and uh, for all the people that are going to be coming here to Dubai to trade with me and I hope that you've enjoyed this video please hit that thumbs up can we get 2,000 likes please community let's hit 2,000 likes and as always thank you so much for watching peace and love Thomas Crawlo I'll see you in the next video cheerio